Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I got a great review for you today on the Gyrocell 330 watt, 280 watt hour T300. This bad boy right here. This thing is just incredible. It's awesome. And I'm going to go over this thing with you today. The price that you're going to hear at the end of this will blow you away if you're going to buy it right now. All right, so let's get going on this review right here. Ready? Let's do it. All right, so first off, what is in this package when you get it? All right, you get the battery bank, which obviously, okay. Wall charger, okay, you get that. Your wall charger cord that plugs into this, right there. You also get a 12 volt car charger. Plug that right in. For your solar power, this is the MC47909 connector that will plug into your solar panels so that you can charge this bad boy up. And one manual that you're gonna need. All right, so this is pretty basic system here as far as hooking all this tiny, all this up, you know? <clears throat> all you have to do is, in the end here, you plug this into here, like so. Plug this bad boy into your wall plug this right up here into your input this is where you do all your charging you plug the bad boy in and she'll be charged now a beautiful thing with this particular unit all right it has a pure sine wave supports most of your laptops tablets phones lights fans most importantly if you are on a CPAP machine it will power that also It'll do TVs, many refrigerators, cameras, drones, all different types of products. This thing is really great for emergency situations, camping trips, car trips, or whatever else. It does have the PD60 right down here. These right here. All right. The PD60 and the 3.0. All right, they're 18 watt fast charging. You have your AC outlet right here. You have your DC over here. You have your two DC outlets down here. This portable power station is really, really built really good. As you can see, it's charged at 100%. The beauty of this thing is, is the way it's constructed. It has a really sturdy handle on this. All the corners, all these corners, even on the bottom, folks, it is all rubber, nice, protective, and everything else. It has built-in fans on both sides. It does have a light. Woo, yes. So you want to go green with Go Duracell. All right, it's got eight outputs total on this machine. Now you can charge up to eight devices at one time as long as you do not breach the 330 watt amount of power this can put out because then it'll shut the machine down it has a built-in automatic shut off if you are charging or if you are using the product if it if you're overcharging it you don't have to worry about overcharging or anything like that because it's going to take and shut it off as soon as it's done charging and it hits 100 percent if you're trying to draw too much power from the battery bank itself it is going to shut off also it has a protective environment built inside this bad boy and for the price at the end folks i'm telling you it's well worth it pure sine wave ac inverter produces clean electricity for sensitive electronics such as your cell phones cameras laptops ipads it's got good quality of the battery cells and upgraded battery management system. This thing will rock and roll. It's got the BMS, provides built-in overload, overcharge. As I was saying, it'll stop when the device is full. It'll, it's got short circuit protection, multi fans on both sides, a temperature safe, bottom and stuff, like I did say, it's all protected here on the top, the bottom, the handle, the whole nine yards. It's really good to go. 
the fast charging USB CPD 60 watt and 18 watt right down through here. These things are great. This way here you could charge multiple phones, multiple devices all at the same time. This bad boy is lightweight and portable. All right, it's light enough that you can easily carry it with one hand. That's what you really want. I mean, you're looking at, you know, it's 9.6 inches by 6.7 by 6.9 inches and it weighs a whopping 7.7 .7 pounds. So compared to a lot of other battery banks that I do have, this is a great one for you to check out. Especially if you are an older person or something, this is very easy for you to carry. The handle is nice and grippy. It has a nice rubber grip onto it so you can really get right into it and hold on to it really well. All different types of information on your screen down here when you plug things in, which we're going to be doing here shortly. It's of course pass-through charging, which means you could be charging this bad boy with your solar panel. You could be charging it with your wall outlet, your car, or anything else. And you still can be using this to power, say, a mini fridge, you charge your cell phones, and all that different types of stuff. So now let's see what this thing can really okay, charge. Folks. So I got five things here to charge. I got a cell phone, which is right here. I got a battery for my camera, right here. I got a battery bank right here that I'm going to charge. I have a headlamp right here. And in the background over here, I got a fan. Let's see what this bad boy can do. Powering her up. All right, first thing we're gonna do, let's start plugging in my extension cord here. Now, this is running, right here this is running the good old battery bank and the fan that's plugged in back here. Let's turn this on. All right, so we're drawing three watts just on charging my camera. Now, we're gonna leave the fan to last. All right, folks. So now we're going to plug this into the, the PD 60 watt. This is from my cell phone, my Android cell phone. Let's plug this in down here. Let's turn this one on. All right, let's zoom in again. All right, so we got 14. 3 and 14. All right, now let's in USB, we're going to plug in my headlamp. We're going to plug in my battery bank. Okay. So you see, we're still only drawing 16 watt of power. We're charging the headlamp. We're charging the battery bank so you can see there it's charging right there all right we're charging the camera battery <clears throat> we're charging my cell phone and if you look right here at the bottom 33 minutes until full let's let that refocus let's kick the fan on hi all right She seems to be working pretty good. Can't complain here. I mean, come on, folks. We're running all these goodies. And she is just cranking it right out. Check that out. So for the money, right now, if your money is tight, this is a great product that you need to add to your preparedness. If you go on my Amazon storefront, it's listed right there. And right now, these are running 212 bucks. There's also a $50 coupon for all you people that want to go in and buy this right now. Limited time only. All right, so it means you're going to get it with tax right around probably 170, 175 bucks. How can you go wrong for a 330 watt battery bank that's going to power your CPAP machine and all the products that I've already showed you. So this is Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for watching this review. I hope you guys turn out and pick up this Duracell T300. For the money, you can't go wrong. For the beginner, this is a great place to start right here. So until next time, folks.
you all just keep prepping. Make sure you go to my Amazon storefront. Links in the description below. It's also right on my homepage. Just click the little tab, take you right there. Go to the battery banks, um, power supplies, solar panels. There's a whole section right there. You can get this for about $170 to $180 depending on your tax. All right, folks. Stay safe. Keep prepping.